Oh, man, my hair, man, why does it just, it just chooses not to cooperate after this haircut? I don't know why that is. Anyway, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Nate here, bringing your news for the past three days, actually. Wednesday, Thursday, and some of today. Though today does, is, it wasn't really a big news day either. Uh, the only big thing that I can recall is that CL is going to be on the Late Late Show with James... Corden is that his last name? The one who does the karaoke carpool. But let's just jump straight into it. The first story I got for you guys is that Zico he actually confirms that he's dating AOA Solon. He also mentions how he fell for in the article, which you'll find all the articles that I'm gonna talk about down in the description below with all the pictures that come along with the teasers and the video links to the music videos for all the releases from the past three days. Now this story actually broke out I think two to three weeks ago. If I recall correctly, it was around the time that Blackpink just debuted. Yeah, it was like two days after Blackpink debuted. And originally I was going to cover the story, but then that week just, I don't know what happened. Like, stuff just happened in our life, so I'm just going to get a videos out. Anyway, he actually confirms it, and I'm happy for the guy. You know, Solohun's a pretty, pretty gal, and Zico's a pretty good dude, I would assume. And reading some of the Kanas in the comments, it's just, uh, I don't understand where, why there's a need to judge, you know. I'm, I'm, you know, I think for most international fans, I think we're perfectly okay with, you know, two celebrities dating one another. Like, I feel like people, like, judge for no reason all the time, but, you know, when it comes to, you know, dating stuff, like, I don't really see it as a big deal, you know, it's just, you know, two human beings, you know, being in a relationship with one another to, you know, support one another, to love one another. Anyway, let's move on to our next story, which has to do with Say Sing fans again, and, uh, you know, the, the main just of the story is that God Sevens Jackson got in a car accident while in China, which I don't know when the China band's supposed to like fully implicate things. Like I'm so confused by it to be honest. Uh, but the car accident I got into was because the Say Saying fans were which were in another van, you know, crashed into his car. Now while JYP Entertainment did make a statement saying that the injuries are not too severe, uh, just look at the picture the dude's holding his back and I'm just saying like like I said before with the red or with the SM story is you know say say fans I don't I don't know why they exist actually Amber did a interview esque thing with Buzzfeed I believe and she was talking about say say fans and uh, in her opinion and I kind of agree with it which is that say say fans aren't you know true fans you know here's my issue you know you could do whatever you want but you know when people are starting to get hurt especially you know the one that you you know you love the one that you like are obsessed about you know I don't know why I did quotations for obsessed because they are obviously obsessed but you know when people start getting hurt because of your actions that's that's when you that's when you're crossing the line and I do hope that Jackson does have a healthy and speedy recovery because dude like both Jackson and Amber seem like the like top two K-pop idols that you just want to hang out with because they're totally chill. You know they know both English and Korean and other languages, and they just like I said, they just seem like cool people to hang out with. And moving on to my next story, and that is Psy. He establishes his new independent label called Psy G. I think it's P S Y G. So I don't, cause you know Psy is under Y G, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like Psy G or like P S Y G. I. <laughs> he did his own thing. You know, you can say so much crap about YG, but you know, one thing that they're, you know, what I give them most respect for is that they back up their artists. For example, you know, CL trying to break into the US market is probably not the smartest moves, but you know, YG still backing her up and, you know, are trying their best to, you know, give her good music to work with. And also, you know, giving her connections to other, you know, US artists so she, you know, collaborate more. And here's another good example with Psy. Granted, I don't know what he's gonna try to do with his independent label, I guess, you know, he can just try to, you know, produce music faster, I guess, instead of being, like, in, like, a rotation cycle with YG. Maybe he's gonna try to start his own girl group, maybe he's gonna try to start his own guy group, who knows? And our last story of the day, even though it's not really a story, it's more of an update on the whole Dia comeback. And for some reason, I said that their album is called Spell, which is true, but for some reason, my brain just kind of associated that the spell is going to be the title of the album and the title of the title track. And while the album name is still called Spell, the title track is also called Mr. Potter because I guess they can get away with copyright. Is it copyright? Because they, they're not saying Harry Potter, they're calling it Mr. Potter. I mean, like, when it comes to South Korean media, they use, like, the most random sound effects and sometimes they use, like, soundtracks from, like, legit other movies. Granted, the, the bigger movies, like, in the classics, but I'm not sure if you're allowed to use that legally. Like, I'm not sure if it's, like, open to, like, 
everybody, but you know, who cares? While on the topic of Dia, they also released teaser pictures, which you can see my favorite one here, and the rest you can find in the in a little imager link down in the description box as well, along with all the stories I talked about. And again, I'm mostly optimistic about this comeback. You know, Dia's songs, you know, they're not bad. They're just not, you know, addictive. Which is saying something to me, because I'm into, like, so many girl groups, of course. You can't, you haven't seen my room, but I have, like, posters for, like, all the groups I stand. And it's just, it's getting out of hand because I'm out of room for posters. Like, I think I have to start putting them up on the ceiling. But actually, let's just get into the teasers. And our biggest one, and I do apologize for not being able to get a video out when these were initially released. But I had classes, and I was, I kind of crashed when I was writing not the script, but you know, I where I put all the stories together. Anyway, it's Red Velvet and their comeback, which is set to release next Tuesday, technically for us in the United States, but it's Wednesday for the, anyone over in Asia. And the album title for Red Velvet's next comeback is called Russian Roulette, which I'm guessing they're going for like a gambling sort of theme with all their artists because you know, EXO's latest comeback slash repackaged album thing was called Lotto, so. Who knows, but if you don't know Russian Roulette, uh, besides gambling, there's also, you know, another implication, and then that's when uh, you have a revolver, obviously this is not a revolver, but you have one bullet in the revolver, and you keep on, you know, hoping that the bullet, when you, you know, you know trigger it, and, you know, press the trigger, hopefully you don't get your brains blown out. My point being is that Russian Roulette is a really strange title, and it was, like, the last thing I expected to see in K-pop. Anyways, with the title of the mini-album released, they also released teaser pictures, and, uh, due to the fact I'm uploading this late, you know, we have a bunch of them. So here we have Wendy, and Joy, Irene, and now, lastly, Sugi. Yeri comes out tomorrow, which, you know, if you follow Red Velvet on, you know, Instagram, you know, or any social media, really, you know, you're gonna get these pictures. So I'm not probably gonna do a separate video for just Yeri. But yeah, the ladies look fantastic. The only thing I have to complain about is that some of the pictures, especially with Sugi, like when her hair is tied up, it looks, the orange hair doesn't look as good. But, you know, when her hair is like with the bangs down, that... Mmm, that looks on point, and she ain't in my bias. The other thing I want to... I'm not really complaining about, I'm just confused. Does Irene have purple hair, or like the yellowish, orangey, pinkish hair? Because it's like, there's two different pictures in color, and I don't know which one to believe. I Like, the one with the purple picture, you know, with the pur purple hair color, she looks so good, and I'm just, you know, I'm just a little bit confused if she has purple hair, or like, pinkish, orangey, whatever color you want to associate that with. But yeah, I'm really excited for this comeback. I'm like 80% sure I'm going to get the album because I do need a Red Velvet poster in my room. Because I have... Yeah, I just I just need a Red Velvet poster in my room. Anyway, our next and last comeback is that APIC is coming back on September 26th. So basically, we get Red Velvet at the beginning of the month-ish and we get APIC at the end. And they also announced that it's going to be the third full album. So probably around 12-ish songs. Uh, somewhere around the double digits. And yeah, there's not much to go off of yet. Hopefully, you know, throughout the month we'll get the teasers, pictures, and all that good stuff. And yeah... I'm excited, but let's move on to our releases from the past few days. The first one being Lovely's K and Mundo, I guess? He's a rapper, I think, uh, releasing a remake of a song known as Why. See, the thing is, I can listen to K all day, so, like, I think the song's fine, but from what I've been reading, you know, the song's pretty iffy for ballads. And our last release from the past few days that I feel like was the most major thing on my list is that Brave Girls released their digital single called You Who. And I actually haven't heard it yet, but from what I've been reading, it's a lot more towards their high heels, like their latest comeback, than their last, last comeback with Deepin. Which personally, I'm okay with, but I know some people, you know, they do want Brave Girls to go to that Deepin era-like route because, you know, it's just something totally different from you know, what the rest of, like, the K-pop girl groups are doing. But yeah, that's all of the stories I want to talk to you guys about today. And of course, don't forget to leave your thoughts down in the comments below on any of the stories I talked about today. You know, what are your thoughts on Zico dating Silhan? You know, are you as hyped as I am for the Red Velvet comeback? You know, what do you think of the title Russian Roulette? You know, just let me know down in the comments below. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave it a like. And if you're new here, subscribing, because I do this every week sort of you know i try to do a monday to thursday but you know school has just started the semester started and i'm you know i gotta get on that dean's list but uh yeah if videos don't go up monday to thursday there will definitely be a video up on friday ish sometimes saturday morning um because you know i i got real life res responsibilities and sleeping 
I end up sleeping way too much sometimes. But that's more of I have responsibilities that lead me to having kind of less sleep. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll see you guys all next time. Probably on Monday for another video maybe. If not, I'll see you guys all for the Red Velvet come back with a music video reaction to that. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Link down in the description box as well. You just have to look up me, Dizzo312, on Twitter and you'll find me. Pretty sure I'm doing this. So you can't miss it. Anyway, until next time, bye bye